three pickups. You two boss it going the goat house is back yeah. with week three pickums. We're here every Tuesday night picking every single NFL game. I'm here along slot alongside mm-hmm. not a long slide, alongside the Hall of Famer Junior and the <laughs> Hall of Famer <laughs> Thank you. Kid Pete. <laughs> to have you guys taking a look at the slate of games in week three. It is looking it's looking hot out there, it folks. Is. It's I didn't know what to say. I said hot. I didn't it didn't work well. Right, yeah, Pete, how's last place stink? How's it stink down there, Pete? <laughs> it's just not going my way this year. It's all right. It's early. It's this early. is what happens it's every year. Week two is shenanigans and but there's your leaderboard. The junior kinda of already pointed it out, but the slate Pete's stinking it up, but the slate of games in week three it, Inf- does not stink. Does not stink. It's mm-hmm. it's this is gonna be interesting. I'm stinking it up in the mud there. See it? Yeah. Yep. Um, the week two winner was Dylan Harp, and he is also in first place in that subscribers league. His picks will be in today's video, so that's why it's not too late to join that league. Link in the comments because the winner of each week will be a guest picker. Do we just get into those picks? How many get did into he get? Those picks. Um. You didn't get, you know, this week people struggled. People didn't do, I think it was 10 was the best. A lot of upsets. So, we're into those picks. All right. It's Patriots. It's the Jets in New York on, almost at Monday, Thursday night football. The Patriots, you know, you said it before we started recording. What would you say? I said they've been playing some nice ball. They've been playing some nice ball. They, they, they just missed out on that victory against the Seahawks. The Jets, uh, they were a pretty even matchup, it felt like, with the Titans. They kind of just squeaked by. So this could be a pretty even matchup. It's it's kind of crazy how well they're playing. Like no one thought that they'd come out the way they have, and they it's just shocking, really. But I mean, I think I gotta take the Jets here. I'd be a fool not to. You'd be a fool. I'd be an absolute a fool. fool. This, I mean, it's not a bad upset to take, to be honest. But uh, I think that as the Jets, as the season goes on, Patriots the Jets are, typically beat the Jets. It feels like, but the the Jets are only going to get better as Rodgers gets more comfortable running around on that uh, that Achilles of his. <laughs> um, going with the Jets, yeah. Short week at home. You it's scouted first, them. You scouted them last. It's their first week. home game of the season, so this is uh, this is big time here. Rodgers is he coming out with the flag again? Yeah, coming out with the flag. Probably not. Um, but yeah, I mean they're they're, they're definitely going to miss Jermaine Johnson. He's out for the year, and yeah, they, need, they need Will his, McDonald stepped Will up. Will McDonald play really well? They need Hassan Reddick to get his get his butt in there and 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 he actually won't. play. But I don't think he is. You think that but asshole's happy that I mean he's not happy someone got injured, but he's know. probably like oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they have they got Johnson people. got hurt, so he's like they got to pay me now. Yeah, they got the interior guys though that played really well. Um, Obviously, their secondary is very good, and and Rodgers started to get more comfortable. They started to go a lot of empty sets and throwing the ball to Brees Hall and getting Braille the ball, Allen, getting getting the ball out of his out of his hands quick. So, I do like the Jets here. Uh what's what's Yeller going with? He's got the Jets. What is uh, Harp's got the Jets as well? Oh, D D D's got the Jets. He won the week last week. Each week, the winner will be the guest picker. Like I said, not too late to join. That league, link in the comments. Uh, yeah, maybe it could be closer than people think. The, the Patriots are playing pretty well, but I'm going to take the Jets. Somebody already mentioned the Jets should be getting better and better. Uh, the Patriots' defense typically good. They struggled against the pass against Seattle last week. It is a totally different offense, but uh, I'll take the Jets, and it will probably be, for the most part, a defensive game. But there you have it. I, I guarantee on Thursday. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's still early in the year. Week two was weird. Week three could be weird. You know, it's it's not like we're in week five, six. You know, it's some weird stuff could happen. And a reminder that uh, our next video will be my score predictions for every game and picks against the spread. People are always looking for that. Well, let's go on to the Sunday slate. Oof. New York football Giants versus the Cleveland Browns. The Browns got their first win last week. The Giants played fairly well against the Commanders. They were missing their kicker, Graham Gano who got hurt in pregame. What, what are the chances of that? And that I picked him. I picked him too. I was I we were, you know, in a way like kind of right to pick that. Like what we how we broke it down was pretty good. But they lost by 3. They had to go for two three different times. They couldn't kick the field goal at the end. Neighbors who had a good game dropped the ball. It was tough. It was very tough. They struggled to stop the run. Seems like every team's struggling to stop the run for the most part every team. Um, not every single one, I should say, but 
seems to be a problem. But uh, Daniel Jones played better last week, but this week is tough in Cleveland against a dominant defense led by Miles Garrett in a strong secondary. Give me the Browns in this one. This is tough because I think both teams kind of stink, but I'm taking the Browns. They this beat the Jags last week. This is going to be a Browns squeaker. Are solid. It's just I thought Deshaun Watson uh, played a little bit better. They're um, so inconsistent. Give me the Browns at home, though. Pete's give me, a, give me the, the dog pound. Pete's pounding off on this one. Pounding the dog on this one. Wait, what? Everyone's yeah. got the Browns. Oh, another guarantee. We're gonna, there's going to be some good ones. This week's got a, a, it's a good, like I said, a good slate. Dylan, he's taking the Browns, too, so that's a guarantee on that one. Pete's going to love this next one. He's going to love it? He's going to love it. Is it the Titans? It's the Titans. It's the Titans. Can That's the next their one. first win? Packers, Titans. Is it possibly, could it possibly be Malik Willis versus his old team, the, the Tennessee Titans? That's what it's going to be. I mean, love was questionable and to this, doubtful last week. And I this mean, would be something that would happen is Malik Willis would just beat the Titans. It would just be something that would happen. Are you it's, picking the Packers? No, I'm not, though. I'm going to oh. stick with my Titans even though oh. they're 0-2. Um, I saw something – Today that they are the first team since the Cardinals in 94 to lead the league in defensive yards per game. So they're, they're allowing the least amount of yards per game but being 0-2. So nice. just the turnovers are not going their way. Uh, Levis needs to stop giving the ball away. The punt um, team. The, the punt, punt team. team. We had two punt blocks in, a, in two games. They're in on pace to be the worst punt team in the history of, the, of football. Yeah. Like speaking of, I'm getting away from it. But speaking of the defense, like playing so well, they haven't forced a single turnover this year. Like this, like like how many balls did we tip up against Caleb Williams and we just didn't come down with this? It's a good fantasy one. football team name, punt it's, team. Yeah, mm-hmm. punt team. Um, punt I just, team. I'm just hoping things are gonna go our way for once here with with the turnovers and I think we've been playing pretty well. It's just again the turnovers are killing us. Are you going Titans even if Jordan Love plays? Ooh. <laughs> I just don't think he's going to play. I don't know. I just highly doubt he's going to play. If Answer he... the question. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Way to put him on the spot. Love it. I'll probably switch to the Packers, but I don't think he's going to play. Uh, yeah, I'm in, I'm in the I'm in the same boat. If Love's playing, I'm going to go Packers. I don't think Malik Willis gets two wins in a row. I, well, it's more in-depth than that we'll go here. I, the Packers, the reason they beat the Colts, they ran the shit out of the ball. The Colts can't stop the run right now. The Packers also played really good defense. The Titans, maybe they slipped up on a couple of plays on defense. So it was like a couple home run plays. But that run defense in general, like play to play, down to down, is very, very good. So the Packers, even though Jacobs could have a solid game, I'm not saying they're going to shut him down, it's going to be nowhere near like what happened last week. So the Titans are going to play good enough defense, probably create a turnover. Levis can't just gift them the ball which the Packers will be banking on, and the punt team needs to get their head out of their asses. I don't know who's the main person to blame. They they brought like five people only. Someone just got beat straight up. Yeah, that's a problem. But I will take the Titans' defense against Malik Willis. If Jordan Love plays, I am taking the Packers, no question there. But even if if he plays, the Titans' defense could create turnovers and win the game still, but I would take the Packers. I'm in that same camp, but just to split things up, you can put me over on the Packers. Just so it doesn't look like we get another guarantee, because I think that's where this is heading. You're basically saying that's where it's heading. Yep. Um, I I haven't seen the note Pete's notes over there, so I don't know uh, where this is exactly heading. But I think that Tennessee's got to figure out the whole Levis turning over the ball situation. It's just bad. It's just the way he's turning, where, when, and how he's turning over makes, the ball. Makes some really like ridiculous throws, and all of a sudden, like. I don't know. Just tries to tries when to. When he get, takes off, he looks pretty good too. Yeah, right? he just tries to get carried away sometimes. It's like just he's I don't know. Yoked. Trying to make something. Trying to make something happen when he should just take the sack. It's something he's got to learn to do. I see him do that, and then up comes a mayonnaise commercial with yeah. Will Levis in it. I'm like, oh man, was that a bad investment? I don't know. Uh, uh, Yeller's got the Titans. I'm sure, he's probably in the same boat. And Harp's got the Packers. I don't know if that's oh D straight up. He's wow. got the pa- he's got the Packers. I think he's a Packers guy. His thing is also go pack go. Oh, okay. never know if to put people's names or their th- their thing. I don't know. Um, so there you go, a good old fashioned split. I mean, Love could play because he was actually listed as questionable until like last Friday or something or Saturday, and they made him doubtful. And I was like, he was really questionable. So it's not like he was just straight up out, even though we expected him to be. So that kind of gives you gives him some chance to play this week, but. 
guess. Packers are a well-coached team. They got a really good roster. The defense picked it up last week. They can run the shit out of the ball. If they're healthy, they're going to be a really good football team. And I think that kind of showed a, little, yeah, a glimpse of it last week as a team and as a coaching staff what they're what they're capable here of. Uh, but Titans are 0-2 and, and very close to being 2-0, and so I think we can't really judge them fully off their record. But, again, that damn punt team and that damn Will Levis mm-hmm. – Problem. The 0 and 2 kind of makes sense when you look at those things. So we'll see. Um, we got some more good games coming up. Oh, oh no. shit. Oh. Bears, oh. Colts, Jr. <laughs> Me and Dan are taking the Bears, baby. Oh, you talked to Dan. Yeah, I talked to Dan. You talked to Dan. I always okay. talk to Dan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Every day? Uh, you no, check in every day? At least once a week. <laughs> Uh, I wanted you to say every day. I know it wasn't every day, but I wanted you to say. Do you want me to start texting him every day to see how he's doing? Yeah, just checking in. All right. I say, hey, how you doing? Just checking in. That Always Sunny episode where Mac and Dennis, like, uh, they're freaking out when each other doesn't, like, check in. Or Mac. Where they're living together? Yeah, well, Mac's (laughs) freaking out when Dennis doesn't check in. He called the cops at one point. That was good. Good stuff. (laughs) You guys ready? Yeah. Bears. He's taking the bears. Bears. Pete. I just think. uh, Eberflus revenge game? Yeah, I like that. (laughs) I think. you know, just Anthony Richardson struggled a lot, and this Bears defense is legit. Um, I think he might he might struggle in this one. Um, I know that the Colts have some some injuries going on too, so um, going going with the Bears here. I think it's gonna be a close game, though. You guys low are scoring, crazy. Low scoring. You guys are crazy. The Colts are favored in this game, and I think that's actually crazy. You guys think I'm wearing the Chicago T-shirt today on accident? I Let's wore go. it, and I'm taking the Bears. Let's the Colts go. are favored in this game. I'm That's surprised. Wild, yeah. I'm surprised about that. For for, they they're know due. something. They're due, maybe. They're, they're due. due. They're just they due. could win. I'm not gonna sit here and. I know they could win. They could definitely win. Game. Neither team's that great. Maybe they both figured out because they have young upside quarterbacks, and they have more than just that. But I'm I'm surprised that they're favored, not because they're like a bunch worse than the Bears, but just look at the matchup. The Colts are really, really, really struggling to stop the run. I guess the Bears are struggling to run the ball, so we're going to learn who's worse there. But Colts are – I trust the Bears' run game a bit, quite a bit more here. Colts are really struggling to stop the run. And DeForest Buckner, their best defense lineman, is out. I mean, as a star defensive tackle on top of it. Their secondary is also not that good. But the Bears, I think most of their struggles are, are the – or pass protection and just the passing game in general. Just everyone not on the same page. I think the offensive line's got to figure it out. Coaching's been pretty bad. But they have an easy fix this week. You just run the damn football. You have a good running back in DeAndre Swift. And then you look at the other side. Colts can make some explosive plays, but the Bears have one of the best defenses in football. Good zone def- defense uh, uh, You know, from Matt Eberflus. I think that's going to that's gonna really get in the head of Anthony Richardson. He'll make some good plays, but... It's going to be a little tricky for him, and he, he really struggled last week. So I think you look at both sides of the ball, I, I think it, it – not big time, but I think it favors the Bears. So I'm a little surprised that the Colts are fair. But right as I say that, you know, the, you know, even though I say right, that, the Colts can win. And right as you say that, Yeller and Harp are both going with the Colts. There you go. Could, I could see it. It's just the matchup says Bears. I think the, the fix Colts. to the Bears running game is just to stop putting Travis Homer in the game. That might be a good start. <laughs> Maybe Roshan could actually play. Uh, he has surprising. zero snaps this year. Surprising. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, I think teams are just stacking the box more. They're not really worried about pass game right now. So it would be key, like, if they come out in first down and, and, and complete a pass, and that makes teams, like, kind of be on their toes. Then you can kind of run the ball. You know, just get first drive, mainly run the football, get a couple throws in there, make them be on their toes a little bit. But – uh, stick mainly stick to the ground in this one because the Colts are really struggling, and pound. really struggling to stop the run, which is odd to see because they're typically very consistent and solid stopping the run. And now Buckner's out, like we said. So, all right, there you have it. So Thank a little, you guys. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. We'll, we'll probably we'll probably all we're be wrong, and we're probably it's, gonna it's, hear it from the Colts fans. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, Don't it's worry. still week three. Anything for you. can happen. It's for you and Anything. Dan though. Week two went weird. Week three could go weird here. Next one. Oh, oh the retro. Vikings wearing those throwbacks. Ooh. Apparently, allegedly, I heard. The uh, best team allegedly. in football. Are they? One which of which the one? Top two. This is a battle for the best team in football, maybe. Probably not really. Uh, this is a Super Bowl preview. Super Bowl preview. Texans 
versus Vikings. Sam Darnold. Texans 2-0. and Nico Collins looks nuts. The offense is sour, but the Bears slowed him down a little bit. Uh, and then defensively, they can make some plays. What's odd for the Texans is they outplayed their opponent two weeks in a row, but the game was close two weeks in a row, and they played the Colts and the Bears. The Vikings shellacked the Giants, and they handled business against the San Francisco 49ers. So, you actually can make a debate which one looks a little better right now. Uh, Vikings are def definitely better than expected. We can say that for sure. Is this going to keep up to be determined? I think it's a good matchup. Should be close. Uh, What's I Jefferson's situation? I think he's in a play. It doesn't sound like anything major. He's day-to-day, -day, but I, I, I believe he's going to play. We'll see if Addison's back or not. Hawkinson's still not back. He, he, it's not really bothering Sam Donald right now, but I, I'm going to take the Texans in this one, though. I'm picking against my team. T uh, hopefully I'm wrong again two weeks in a row. Uh, I had them the first week, so we got that one. But I took the Texans because they they have so many weapons, different options at receivers. Stephon, Stephon Diggs' revenge game as well. But Nico Collins looks like maybe the best receiver in football right now. He's absurd. He's scary. So the, 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 Vikings, the Vikings have a complex defense, which is good for a young quarterback, C.J. Stroud. But he just has so many options. He has so many options that he can go to. If and The Vikings' corners aren't the greatest in the world, so I think – they're not going to light it up offensively, but I think that'll be enough, and I think D'Amico Ryans will have a pretty good game plan defensively for Sam Darnold. But Brian Flores looks like the best defensive coach in football today, at least through two weeks. So yeah. uh, it could go either way for sure. I just think the – I'm picking the Texans too. I just think, like you were saying, Flores doing a hell of a job. I think the Vikings defense has some talent, but there's also like a lot of, a lot of holes on the defense, especially at corner. Um, and with the, But they got Gilmore now. They, they, do, they do. He's, he's kind of old, though. But they got three really good receivers in Houston. Um, they've been giving the ball to Joe Mixon like crazy. So just a lot a lot to try and stop here. So I'm going to go to the Texans. I'm taking the Texans as well. It's a tough loss when you're wearing these unis, to be honest. Oh. But I feel like Darnold – I don't like, know if I ever confirmed if they're <laughs> – I Darnold. think I saw someone tweet that they're supposed to wear them. We're going to go with it. So Darnold's playing amazing. He's playing great. But at some point you got to think he kind of takes a little step back. Because that's, that's not the Sam Darnold we know, in my opinion. Um, no, we're I think definitely not used to it. Definitely not used to it. He's that. in a great situation. He's Probably making some big situation. boy throws, though, that like just doesn't really seem like. That one seam ball he had, like, yeah. where it was like thrown back shoulder almost between three defenders was just nuts. It's like throws, you, you, it doesn't matter who the target is. Like he just, it's, I, I don't know. We'll see if it keeps up, though. Yeah. Um, Yeller? Texans. Oh, Harp's got the Texans. Maybe it's just a formula you guys got going. You and Yeller, like you're yeah, just, just picking pick, against pick. against the Vikings, and then they'll win. We picked them, and we picked we picked them in week one. You did. I'm surprised no one went Vikings. I thought about it because, again, maybe Brian Flores is something. Brian Flores' defense is something perfect for a young quarterback, CJ Stroud, even though he's insane. CJ. We will see. It's uh, it's gonna be a good one, folks. I can't believe nobody picked the Vikings. His well. hair really bothers me. Stroud. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't know why. It just does. All right. Hey, who's who's QB? Who's QB two from that draft class? That's a good question. <laughs> Great question, Pete. No, but Bryce Bryce Young, Anthony Richardson, or Will Levis. Yikes. Mm. I don't want to answer. All right, here we go. Next game. Yeah, I don't want to answer. Oh, oh is that going on? <laughs> Eagles. Team in football. Saints. The Saints look like the best team in football right Those now. Saints. Uh, yeah, they have I'd... the best point differential in football. They look dominant on both sides of the ball. I'm going to be on freezing cold takes. Yeah. I said the Saints. I was like, they're they're in for uh... – a bad season. Here. It's only week two. Well, they're just dominant. Give me the Saints at home. Oh, I'm Pete's a, taking I'm, the Saints I'm a, at home. I'm going apology here for the Saints. Already? I'm already going on, on an apology here. Uh, we knew their defense was legit. We just worry about injuries with them. And now the offense is getting going. Derek Carr looks pretty dang good. Um, Kamara's back to his old, looks like his old form right now. Um, what happened? Yeah, it's just, it's just unreal. I, I mean, I think I don't think they're like you know one of the best teams in the league, but I think like I didn't think they had a shot really at winning the at winning the division. I think that they're the favorites now to win this division. I, it's I early. I know. I do like Atlanta still, but give me give me those Saints right now. Saints go marching in mm -hmm. for Pete. Uh, I mean, I was I want to take the Saints. I picked the Saints here, but now that Pete last place <laughs> Pete has taken the Saints, it's kind of tough. Uh, this might change, but I'm going to go with the Saints. I'm going to go with the right. Saints. This might change the closer we get. What's Yeller got? Saints, and so does Harp. Oh, shit. 
Oh no! Oh god! I don't have for two and zero. Is it is it too early to fall for this or what? It's too early. Give me the Eagles. I'm by myself. First time I'm by myself. Typically those are like ninety percentiles. I think I'm changing. You think I I I typically win these when I'm by myself. If you've been watching for some time, do it. New season. Do it, Junior. New season. Let me get. Let me get. Don't do it. I'm changing. Let me gain. Let me gain. I'm changing. The Saints are tough. You're changing. I'm changing. Come on, Saints. Go marching in. I'm changing. Oh, Go marching man. in. It's tough. I didn't it's think tough. If A.J. Brown being out because he's, he's supposed out. to be out yeah. again, it makes it extremely tough because he was playing. I, I I would feel kind of confident even though the Sa- I am confident still because the Saints look great. They Are are they better than expected? Yes. Is this going to keep up? I don't think it's going to keep up, but that doesn't mean they'll be bad. Or they'll be what we expected. You know, uh, The Eagles' defense, I wonder about. They're a little soft in coverage. They can't do that against uh, Shahid and Alave. I mean, these these guys are ridiculous down the field, and you can't. You know, they struggle to stop Rob Bijan Robinson on the ground. So, got to got to contain Kamara mainly in the passing game too, or both obviously. But Eagle, multiple reasons I'm picking the Eagles are got to be very pissed off about that loss. Uh, That was crazy loss on Monday Night Football. They know it's like one thing if you lose when it's like. I don't know. To me, that that type of loss is you're pissed off because we they got to be going. We outplayed a good team. We beat them, but the score doesn't show it. They're going to be coming into New Orleans pissed off, playing you know playing tough and going to win that game. But multiple main reasons I'm picking them. Saints haven't really seen a rushing attack yet. They played the Panthers. They were down by so much so early. They're not good at anything. The Cowboys cannot run the football, and they were down by so much. So the run game. Gets taken away. The Saints to continue that they got to get a big lead on the Eagles early. If they get a, a multiple, if they get a multiple score lead, even if it's ten nothing, I think they're going to win the game. But the Eagles' run game is a different monster with Saquon and Jalen Hurts. They control the clock in the game better than they did it against the Falcons. They just choked in the end. They control the clock so damn well, and they limit the chances of their opponent. And the Saints are teams that are a team that is taking advantage of having those chances right now. But so I, they haven't seen that run game, and the Eagles are going to give them something new here and control the clock, limit the Saints' chances there. Um, you know, I also do like the Eagles' chances, their the defensive line of slowing down Kamara, not stopping him. So. I will take the Eagles. Saints also run a lot of man coverage. Hurts is a very good runner. Typically, good running quarterbacks run better against man coverage. So, I I like the Eagles. I like the Eagles in this one. Uh, Also, Vic Fangio, old school defensive coordinator. People kind of making fun of him these days because he's old school. It doesn't work with today, you know, today's style offenses. But Saints run a very West Coast, you know, pro style offense. I think Fangio will be able to game. He's not going to stop it, but I think he'll be able to game plan for it. There's A.J. Brown being out's tough, but there's things that point towards the Eagles for me, so I am going to go with Philly in this one. While everyone's getting hot about two games, I think the better team wins here. Mm-hmm. But Saints are really good. They look very impressive. I mean, the Cowboys aren't just just anybody. No. I mean, the Cowboys are a good yeah. team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They just slacked them. Yeah, they did. Is that everybody here? Yeah. This next one is so tough. There's so yeah. many tough. This is a tough one. There's so many tough ones. I just despise these two teams. I don't know why. Just because, like, how are they both 2-0? and <laughs> How are they both 2-0? and Like, like, what is the schedule that they got to start the season off? Like, no, they, people are one like, of these teams it. is going to be 3-0. and Like, are we, are we serious? Who's it going to be, Pete? I have no idea. Like, I don't know who I'm picking. This is, this is the toughest one to pick on the week. I was against 100%. the Steelers. I thought the Broncos were going to win, and the Broncos. Could, I was surprised you guys. The Broncos are... could not score. The Broncos touchdown. are bad. They are bad. <laughs> They're bad. I was surprised how many of you guys picked the Broncos. In the comments, they were the people in the comments were talking like we all picked the Broncos. I was. Did I go uh, Broncos? How do you not remember? I don't know. I don't think I did. I. No, it was just me. it was only me and you on the Steelers. Oh, okay. Everyone else, even the guest picker who went fifteen and one in week one and picked the picked the Broncos, I think. Maybe I'm mistaken. But and the people in the comments were like ripping us like we all picked against Steelers. But I was like, hey, yeah, I picked Steelers. <laughs> I was confident in that one. This this one I'm not. This is the toughest one to pick. This is the toughest no, one to pick this week. No and there's idea. a ton of tough ones. No idea. You're well, supposed to start, pick right we're now. We start Pete. off. Yeller and Hart both have the Steelers. Yeller Steelers. I think I'm gonna go with the Steelers just because they're home. Like I I literally don't know though. Cause I mean I the, the Steelers defense is is really good. Obviously. Um, I don't think the Chargers defense is that is that great. They played the Raiders offense and the Panthers offense. Um, but the Steelers' offense isn't great either. Uh, but I think they could get something going on the ground here. But I, I this is kind of just a toss-up game, just going with the home team. Junior, give me the Chargers. He's bolting up. Upset Bolt alert. Up. Who's favored in this? Do we know? Steelers are favored at home. Wowzers. 
I've been back and forth on this one all day. This is the toughest game to pick on the season. I don't know if there's going to be a tougher one. There's a lot of ball. There's a lot of ball left. I don't know if there's going to be a tougher one. They're both two and zero. They're both playing really good defense. They both can run the football. Uh, this, this, ladies and gentlemen, this is a matchup. This is a matchup here. We got two coaches, Jim Harbaugh and Mike Tomlin, old that are known ball. for old school football, physical football, grinding these games out. These are their types of games here, and we're gonna see who comes out a champion. On Sunday, this is for the championship. Uh, <laughs> this is the in-season championship in mm. Pittsburgh. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think the Pittsburgh are playing better defense than the Chargers, even though the Chargers defense looks good. I still worry about the Chargers' run defense. On paper, it looks like the worst in football. They've been okay, but they've played the and Panthers so, and the Raiders. And the Raiders, two teams that are struggling. Well, the Panthers are struggling to do everything. The Raiders are really struggling to run the football. So the Steelers might run all over them. That makes you want to take the Steelers. On the other side, looking at the Chargers, I'm going to trust Justin Herbert to make a play a little more than Justin Fields. I think it's only a matter of time until Justin Fields kind of blows the game. It could be this game. He could run all over them. This is tough. I still don't know who I'm picking. I'm going to be, be really mad at the Steelers if they lose this game. Like, Give me the Chargers. Really, like, really mad. Give me the Chargers. I made a decision. <laughs> I think the difference in quarterback play is the difference in this one. But in Pittsburgh, I think it's a it's a, a good defense. A better de- They're both good defense. I think it's a better defense. But the Chargers are a little tougher to game plan for right now. I don't know if the Steelers are doing anything unique right now um they're playing well so i'm not saying that i'm saying they're not doing anything where it's like oh man this is a tricky game plan like the chargers everything's new you know with uh whole whole new coordinators obviously it's all different so i think uh that could give the chargers an edge in this one but it's gonna be i mean this zero struggle to put up points against i mean they didn't score against the falcons they didn't score a touchdown i should say and then they 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 struggled against the Broncos as well, so uh, that's what I keep remembering. You know, on offense, I should say. So I keep remembering the Chargers. Maybe can be to do that, make that extra, that little extra play. Mm. They'll bring the juice. Bring the juice to I win that think game. But defense is for real. Yeah, either, either do I. But they're playing the Steelers. Offense. I know it's just a weird game. I don't know. Steelers defense is for real. I don't. The Chargers defense is better than expected, but I don't think it's for real. I don't, I don't think the run defense is for real, and it could get exposed in this game. Get Justin Fields running here. Mm. Yeah. Get them running. Ah, this is a tough one. This is tough. No, you did it. Let's go. <laughs> Moving on. I, difference in the quarterback. I, I think the Chargers, another thing. Hardball's being a little sneaky. They're making it seem that they're just run the football, pound the football type team. But any, any but given Johnson, though. Any given time, they can just unleash Justin Herbert and be a, become a pass first team. So maybe they save it for a game like this. Take the Chargers. That is a that is a fifty fifty game, folks. And all right, hey, this is not a fifty fifty game. Hey, give me the Bucks. The Bucks are beat up. So many guys oh, are hurt. Give me the Bucks. Might Every, be out. Might be out on the Broncos. Forever. Yeah, even in the altitude, I don't know. Everybody took the Bucks, right? Everybody on the on, yeah. the, on the thing. Yeah. Okay. There you go. We could talk about it though. I mean, you don't have to. Um. Yeah, I, the, Bucks, the Bucks are really beat up in the secondary, so this is an opportunity for Bonex to get things going through the air. I think he plays a little bit better, but I don't think he gets enough going here. It's tough to run against the Bucks as well. And then the, 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 Buc, the Bucks will run the ball. We'll see if Rashad White plays or not, but even if he does, I think it does yeah, or the doesn't. The Bucks had those injuries, and they beat the Lions. Bucks will take – Baker takes care of business on this one. Baker. Would be a – guy. Would be a – there's – hey, it's week three. A lot of upsets these days. Yeah. This time of the year. We saw it last week. Could happen. If the Broncos win this game, I'll pick them every matchup for the rest of the year. Oh. All right. Lock it in, folks. Lock it in. Clip it. No. No. Oh, liquid IV. Oh, game. the liquid IV oh, game of the week. The Panthers with the red rock red rifle and the Raiders who beat the Ravens last week. Oh yeah. They're smoke, were they smoking their stogies after? They were smoking their stogies Give after. Give those Raiders. Pete's taking the Raiders. At home. Well, I think we all are. Yeah, I think we all are. Are we? Yeah. We are are. You Don't sure? tell me you're taking the are Panthers. Are you sure about that? You're taking the Red Rifle? Uh, I'm, I might. Let me get everyone in the right spot You're here. doing it? Uh, <laughs> he's doing it. Yeller take the Raiders? Yep. D? Yeah. Do you take the Raiders? Don't dare. Don't All right. Dare. Well, Andy Dalton makes it an inch. Andy Dalton, fun fact, he's never lost to the Raiders. 
<laughs> or is it in Vegas? In, yeah, he's never lost to the Raiders. And it's a tougher game plan, all right? You know, you can't really watch the tape on Bryce Young. And Bryce Young had guys open, and he just wasn't seeing them. I think Andy Dalton's going to hit up his guy Adam Thielen a bit. Uh, the Raiders can't run the football. They are really struggling to run the football. But Minshew got things going last week. They have the weapons, too many weapons. To, you know, It's a tough game plan with Bowers being a mismatch guy. So I will take the Raiders still, but probably closer than you think. It's not going to be an ass beating, but Max Crosby going to get after Andy Dalton his first game starting as an old man here. So that's another guarantee. We got well, we got a little streak here of some easy ones. We got a streak coming? Yeah. Streaking. We're, we're in the midst of it. Dolphins, Seahawks. Seahawks had a close one in overtime last week against two and the Patriots, but they are two and zero. They got the passing game going big time, and then the Dolphins are one and one. Tua went down. It's gonna be Skylar Thompson this week. They did put Tua on the IR, missing at least four games. It's gonna be five weeks because the bye week, and they did bring in Tyler Huntley, who could end up being better than Skylar Thompson whenever he gets a chance, but. I mean, the Dolphins look like they can run the ball pretty well. It just didn't do enough of it early, and they, things got out of hand. So um, Antonio Gibson kind of ripped up the Seahawks. So did the Dolphins look at that, pound the ball? Does, them up. Does A-Chan have a day? Possibly. Seahawks seem to be a better passing team than a running team based off last week. And it feels like you have to run the ball more against the Dolphins. So does that match up side with the Dolphins? I don't know. I'm not going to pick them, though, with the first game two of being out. I'll take the Seattle Seahawks or Sneaky with that new style passing attack under Ryan Grubb. I'm also going with the Seahawks here. Okay. Give me the Hawks at home, the 12th man. Mm. You said Hawk Tua? You're taking Hawk Tua? Hawk Tua. Uh, no, everyone's Hawks. got Seahawks here. Uh, well, okay, everybody for the Seahawks. Look at that. Look at that. Sorry, Mr. 305. Yeah, got to apologize. Oh, <laughs> Ravens. Cowboys. Do you guys believe the Ravens are 0 and 2? The Cowboys are 1 and 1. Ravens got embarrassed and they didn't lose by a lot, but they got embarrassed. They lost in an upset as heavy favorites to the Raiders. The Cowboys got embarrassed, got shellacked by the Red Hot Saints. They went marching in into Dallas and whomped them. It's not pounding. Uh, so either the Cowboys are going to be 1 and 2 and 0 and 2 at home in the regular season, unheard of, or the Ravens are going to be 0 and 3. After being the best regular season football regular season team in football last year, Oof. this is interesting. I mean, I think the Cowboys are just cursed at home. Like they they blew that playoff game and let the Packers just score all over them. And this and isn't then, the playoffs, though. It's no, I know. But then, but then they came back. Their first home opener was against the Saints, and they let the Saints just score all over them. Give me the Ravens getting their first W of the season here. Okay. Pete keeps ruining my picks. Taking the Ravens? I'm taking the Ravens. I just I can't see them starting 0-3. That's just tough. Yeller? Ravens. Harp. Ravens. Oh, wow. Uh, I can see this going either way. The Ravens' defense does not look as good as it was in the past. They lost multiple coaches in the coaching staff. They lost players, so it's – I guess it shouldn't be super shocking that the team is actually a little bit worse, even though they're gonna. I know they're gonna figure it out at some point, but they they probably are worse. Offensive line lost coaches, and then on defense, um, you know, so the CD Lamb could have a day, that you know, Dak could have a day, the Cowboys could figure it out. The Cowboys defense could be solid. Uh, they they can create turnovers. Uh, I don't I don't think Lamar's gonna be able to throw all over them or anything like that. So that's a tough game. Yeah, you know, do it, do it then. But um, do it, do what. Do it. Cowboys. I explained both sides, uh, but there's one thing that stands out for me in this game, and, and as in terms of the matchup, it's and that Henry. is that is the Ravens' rushing attack versus the Cowboys' run defense. The Cowboys' run defense is it was bad last year, and it was really bad last week against Al sus. Alvin Kamara. It's definitely sus on the sus uh, meter. It's pretty high up. So and this is gonna be like it's gonna be a slap in the face to Jerry Jones. He should have went out, got Derrick Henry, let the Ravens get him. Well, Lamar's going to run well, too. The Ravens just needed to run the ball more last week, and they would have beat the they Raiders. Did, they did in the second half, and, like, it was working, and then they stopped. They blew it. Those, Lamar didn't run enough. Derrick Henry didn't run enough. I don't even care who you were giving the ball to. Just get the ball to somebody. So they learned their lesson. They're not going to start hardballs. Maybe. not going to start 0-3. They were trying some things out more in the past game the last couple weeks. They run the ball. 
they win the game. The Cowboys got an issue on – the offense is going to be explosive. This could be a shootout. But they got an issue on offense where it's, it's – CeeDee Lamb, CeeDee Lamb's got to carry this group a little, a little too much. So um, – both teams I still think are good. Either could win, but if there's one thing that stands out in the matchup, like I said, it's the Ravens' rushing attack against a weaker run defense. I mean, the Ravens, surprise, we all eh, – not that surprise, but we all took them. And then Munkin comes out and starts throwing it all over the yard. All over. Both these teams are really beat up, but nobody's more beat up than the Rams. Give me the Niners. Yep, give me the Niners yeah. as well. You have to go with the Niners. Everyone's going Niners. Niners are a team that can be – Feel bad for the Rams. Yeah. Feel bad. Well, Niners don't have McCaffrey. They don't have Debo. Yeah, I mean that's expected though. I don't know why I drafted Debo in a fantasy league. Like he just gets hurt every every single year. He's always out. Um, Kittle got hurt too. But yeah, the Niners Danny's could be taking the Niners too. What? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I talked. I did talk to Dan, uh, and he's taking the. Apparently, he's taking the Niners. Apparently, I talked to him. I don't know. Niners could be beat up, and they're still tough to deal with. They're still, you know, a pain in the ass. The Rams are just depleted. Best receivers gone, several offense linemen gone, starting corner, starting safety, brutal. It's going to be very tough for them to compete. Poor Matt Stafford. Uh, Niners, Niners are going to win this this game. It's going to be very surprise, very surprising if they don't. But uh, yeah, I mean they still no got Brian Flores over there. Yeah, handling Purdy. See Purdy go up to him after the game. He's... Said your scheme is crazy. <laughs> and then Brian Flores just shook his hand and walked away. I saw away. something that Purdy's like 14-0 and 0 against NFC all teams. NFC teams, yeah, but he's 0-2 oh <laughs> against the Vikings. <laughs> oh. Oof. I think that regular season. That was a regular season. Oh, okay. But Purdy did get hurt against the Eagles. Yeah, yeah so I don't know if we count that. that one. I don't probably, know if we count that one. Probably should count it, but it's probably regular season. Let us know in the comments. And yeah. a reminder, next game. Score predictions, picks against the spread. We got power rankings next already up. Game, next video. Next video. It's a, there's a, these are games out here. Right. These are games. Okay? This is a game. Oh shit! Lions, Cardinals. This is probably the second hardest one to pick in the week. It's a good one. How about that, <sighs> Kyle Murphy? Kyle, <laughs> Kyler Murray looks good. He Holy looks real good. Crap. Marvin Harrison Jr. picked it up last week. I think I called that. I think he's last got, week. I'm like he's he got, gets going. He's got yeah. He's pretty got, sure I called that. Kyler's got no call of duty to play right now, so oh. he's he's locked. He's I thought dialed. the beta he's sucked. Right I now. thought the beta sucked. He probably thought it sucked too. Yeah, so, he's so he's like, like fuck I'm, this. I'm Let's dialed. get going. I'm dialed in the football. Dialed in. He looked good. I think he looks like the best quarterback in football through two weeks. Doesn't mean a whole lot, but it means a little bit. Means means a little what bit. That here. one play where he just like spun and then he like ran back in the pocket. Then he went back out and then he just ripped that ball in. To the left corner of the end zone, I was like, "What? That was the nice. heck All this hyping just, up. What the heck did I just watch? All this hyping up. You're picking the Cardinals, Pete? No, I'm picking the Lions. Oh, okay. um, Lions coming off of a disappointing loss against the Bucks. Um, I don't think the Cardinals' defense is that great. The Bills scored a lot of points against them. Um, it's the Bills. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. But the Lions' offense is is pretty high powered as well. You got two good running backs. Uh, I think Jared Goff plays a better game. You got St. Brown is a little banged up, but he still had. Double-digit catches. Like yeah, he, he always, needs to play in this game. If he yeah, doesn't play, you take you know, the Cardinals? I'm picking the Cardinals then. Uh, but they have Laporta, obviously. They have uh, Jamison Williams, who's been making some plays. And then, obviously, Aiden Hutchinson just went off. Um, that's going to put some pressure on Kyler. Like you gotta, you got to be able to contain him. Um, I don't think there's – only Hutchinson's like just going to stop him from scrambling around and making plays. He's going to do that. But I just have more faith in, a li- in the Lions team that's, that's more proven than the Cardinals. Junior? This is tough. I think this is where I got to try to sneak one, and I'm going to go with the Cardinals at okay, home. Yeah, I like it. It's a good. It's not a bad pick. It's a good little sneak pick. Either right way you go, I can argue both. Like I'm going to do. Like I always do. I'm going to argue both sides. But well, first, what's Yeller? They both have the Lions. Ooh, surprise! Yeller went Lions. Cardinals at home. Uh, yeah. So reasons to pick the Cardinals. They look great. Kyler, Kyler is Kyle, I almost said Kyle, <laughs> Kyle Kyler, Murphy. Kyle Murphy. Uh, Kyler Murray looks awesome. The Lions defense running a lot of man lately. If you run man against Kyler, he's going to make you pay. He's going to scramble around. Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to beat you up. So that would be a reason to pick the Cardinals. Another reason is the Lions are weird right now. They're they're trying some things out. They're trying to throw be more of a pass first team. And while doing that, they're not really getting the ball to Laporta at the same time. You know, so if they continue doing that, like trying to play a non-Lions-like game, and then on top of the Kyler Murray and if James Connors running well, the defense stepped up last week. The Cardinals will win the game. Reason for the Lions, they even if they do the all-out pass offense, that that's weird that they're that they're doing. They still could win because it's still a pretty good pass attack. Get the ball, Laporta more. Uh, St. Brown could do well. The, you know, Cardinals. 
better defense than it looks on paper. Those safeties are really good, but I think the Lions will be able to do some damage. But if the Lions go back to their normal game, I think they'll run all over the Cardinals. I think they'll run quite well. I mean, maybe it won't be absurd, but I think they'll run quite well. Uh, you know, so that'd be a reason to to argue the Lions. It's it's. I think it, I think it's gonna, I'm going to predict this game's going to be a shootout. We'll see what I have in the Squeaker. score predictions. Um, we, didn't, we didn't do our squeakers here. This could be an ass beating either way, though. I can see a scenario where like somebody scores an insane amount of points on either side. Um, this uh, all okay. If St. Brown play, doesn't play, I'm taking the Cardinals. I'm going to go with the Lions, but it all lies on the Lions. What? Are they going to come out what they were doing the last two weeks? I know they won one of them. Are they going to come out and play Lions football? Are they going to pound the rock? You don't only do that, but if they do that, they will control this game and they will win it. But I do like the matchup of Kyler Murray going against a team that's been running a lot of uh, man coverage. But I do – Hutchinson, somebody brought up Hutchinson. I think he uh, could be a factor once again in this game. But it's, it's going to be good. It's gonna, gonna be I, 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 think the, I like the Cardinals. I think they're good. I My squeaker is... Uh, is it bold? I got something bold. Teams that are like surprisingly good right now, Saints, Vikings, Cardinals, sure, right? Uh, right. Is it bold of me to... I don't know. I'm not going to be firm about this. Well, I the Steelers and the Chargers. Those are good teams. Too. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Okay, out of all five of those teams, the teams that look good right now that are a little surprising, the one that I'm actually trusting them... I can't believe I'm saying it, but I think it's the Cardinals that I think will That's continue. That's crazy. I, I, I'm with you, but that's crazy. Maybe not this week, but like they're one and one though. They're gonna be one and two. It might be crazy. It might be crazy. I don't know. We'll see. Um, all right. My squeaker of the week is the Chargers and Steelers. By the way, that's oh yeah, I should have done be, that. Too late. Gonna, I keep gonna be like to pick a, squeakers. It's gonna be like a thirteen to ten game. Oh, I got a good squeaker. It's bold. Uh, there's a trap game coming up. There's a big trap game. I don't know if I have the balls to pick the upset, though. You don't I know. have the we'll balls. Find, we'll find out in a little bit, folks. Are we there yet? Chiefs, Falcons, Sunday night football. When I made a little switcheroo on this game. I actually was originally – I was still thinking about it. It wasn't firm. Oh, that's right. We got two more. I'll start us off here. Games. The Falcons got hot. In that Eagles game, they figured something clicked. They figured something out. Kirk Darnell Cousins, Mooney. Darnell Mooney's a weapon. Drake London, offensive line. Bijan was running well. The whole offense looked really something clicked. The chemistry's starting to grow. It's gonna. They're gonna be a really good team as the season goes on. They're gonna what? You're picking them. And <laughs> you interrupted me. And the run defense a little sus. But the Chiefs do not have Pacheco anymore. He's out for six to eight weeks, roughly. They're not going to be a strong running team. So a lot of things are in the Falcons at home, Sunday Night Football off that win. A lot of things siding with the Falcons, and I was actually leaning for the Falcons for that reason, even though they're playing against Patrick Mahomes and, and these guys. But, and it's Kirk Cousins in prime time. Kirk Cousins prime time. But I, I'm i going to go with the Chiefs. i got to go with the Chiefs. I can see the Falcons. But Patrick Mahomes in a dome, indoor, he is deadly. He is electric. He's always electric, but he's extra <laughs> deadly. It's actually debatable on what his record is inside because it's it's either 11 and 0 or 11 and 1 because that one time was against the Colts. Was that last year or the year before in Indy, but the roof was open. The roof was open. So does that count indoor? Other than that, the he roof was open. Is undefeated. He knew. He knows. He knows. He's a roof knows guy. A He's Big a roof, roof guy. guy. He's a Jim Ursay a... guy. Um, Jim follow, Ursa. Only person he follows on Twitter. <laughs> notifications <laughs> that's on. That's true. No, no. The only person you have notifications on. Oh, that's for. true. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's what I meant. Um, so Mahomes just lights it up indoor. He can sling it. I just sling love, it around. I love his tweets when he just like tweets like the roof is is open every like week. It, like it's just... Every week. I'll take the Chiefs. I think it's going to be close, but that wasn't my trap game squeaker. Yeah, but I thought I about gotta, this was a tough got, one. You got to go with the Chiefs, but I do agree that this could be a very entertaining. The Falcons game. are going to get really good. Yeah, they're, I'm excited. I'm excited to watch. Get, I'm excited for this game. A lot of a lot of red, a lot of red out there. They kind of seem sus stopping a run though. But the Chiefs, uh, we'll see how much they actually run the ball without Pacheco. It seems like they like Steele more than Pirine, but Steele did have a fumble last week. We'll see. Junior, give me the Chiefs. He's taking the Chiefs. Yeller, Chiefs, Harp. Falcons. Ooh, Ooh. Harp by himself. That's not a bad pick at all. I really thought about it. They're 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 getting going a little bit. Get me going. They're they're getting going. They're gonna get real good. 
he really blends in with that over there. Yeah, looks uh, good. Same, looks good. Same red. That's Sunday Night Football, man. It's gonna what a treat. What, what a, a treat. treat. Minus Collinsworth be. being out there talking, yeah. but uh, is it gonna be Tariko or is it gonna be Al Michaels? What are we gonna get? Probably Tariko, right? Oh yeah, wait, Al Michaels. Al Michaels, Al Michaels, Al Michaels Thursday, Thursday Night Football. That's right, it's like, Thursday night. I thought I was missing something there. <laughs> Jags, Bills. Two Monday night. We got two Monday night two. football games this week. And two. next week we have another one too. Wow. Uh, Jags, Bills. Okay. Uh, give me the Bills at home. Oh, Bills. I can't believe I picked against them last week. I feel like an idiot. Yeah, I feel like an idiot too. Give me the Bills. <laughs> Prime time. Got that extra rest coming off Thursday night victory. They're a prime time Yeller. Team. Yeller Bills. Yeller's got the Bills. Harp's got the Bills. This is the one, guys. This is the ultimate trap game. Jags 0-2. I don't think I have the balls to do it. Ah, thinking, I really thinking about it because you're a huge Jags guy. You are not really. <laughs> huge. They disappoint. I, I'm. I'm. Gonna you take, thought there. You thought they were gonna. Be, it's a major it's trap game. I. And no one on the planet's gonna say though. They could see the Jags win. I could see the freaking Jags winning. But I think Josh Allen, James Cook, looking really good. These guys make an extra play on the ground and win the game. Even if the Jags match up well and they play well, I still. I think what I'm what I'm about to say could actually happen, but the Bills can still win the game because they're just they're better. I almost said more better. They're more better. They're more better. They're okay. home. Josh Allen's one of the best players in football. They find a way here, but it's a trap game. The Jags did not not the reason why, but the Jags did beat them in London last year, and that's when they kind of got going finally, and that's when the Bills kind of went downhill for a little bit. That's just an extra thing to throw out there, but. The, the, it's the matter of running the football more for the Jacksonville Jaguars. They they could have beat the Browns. The ETM was running well. They were acting like they were losing by 30, like throwing the ball nonstop. And Lawrence wasn't getting the ball out quick enough. But in the bill, the Bills look great right now, right? They are. They're two and zero. They look right. great. But they are another one of those teams that cannot stop the run. They, they if the Dolphins would have ran the ball more, I still think the Bills would have won. But it would have been a much closer game. They were running all over them. They they went in the season missing Matt Milano, and now Terrell Bernard is out, so they're missing both of their linebackers. And now the Jags are going into a week game planning for a team, knowing that both their linebackers are out, and knowing that hey, if we ran the the run was the only thing working. If we ran the ball more last week, we could have came back and won. We could have won that game. So they are most definitely. It would be shocking if they didn't. They are most definitely going to pound Travis Etienne, and I think the Bills' run defense is very much sus, and they can control the game that way. But Josh Allen, James Cook, I think Allen could run throw on them. You know, Tyson Campbell is still out, obviously, for the Jags. So I like the way the Bills' secondary is playing right now. I'll take the best sense. It's this is one of the tougher ones for me. People are gonna be mind blown by it because it almost just looking at the two teams, it looks like it's straightforward. But I almost convinced myself to switch over. I think ETN runs very well. I think the Jags can win by uh, uh, by running the ball and controlling the clock. So well, I, if he's really I got ran here, guys. I if he's really it, ran well this year, though. Yeah, I got. I the Jags have been struggling to run the ball. They're not running it enough. He did fumble in the half yard line week one, but he I, he's explosive. He's gonna run. He's gonna run on the Bills. He's gonna run well. What do you got? Uh, I got a text from Danny. It's weird that he texted me about this matchup as we were doing this matchup. Mm-hmm. Uh, he just said, can you let the viewers know that that Danny Provolone's hot take of the week is that the Bills will win by two touchdowns and the Jags stink and that I'm out on Trevor Lawrence, but I still love Doug Peterson. That's I think Dan's Doug, words, that's not just mine. A, that's just a Dan. Not mine. That's just a Dan text right there. Uh, yep. I, I think Doug Peterson's more of the issue right now, yeah. actually. But it's Dan's words, not mine. Okay, all right. Uh, I can totally see the Jags win that game. But if I pick the Jags, I'm gonna look like the, and then they lose, I'm gonna look like the biggest asshole there is. So, doofus of the uh, week. Doofus of the doofus. week. Doofus. <laughs> what a new new award here. So I'm actually, I'll say it. I'll, I'll, I'll I think say I'm it. more excited about this next Monday night. Game. I'll say squeaker, three points or less. Bills win by by two. Okay, sir. Not even listening to me. What'd you say? I said I. I'm even more excited about this next Monday. The night other game. Monday night Ooh. game, God. Commanders, Bengals. The, what, the Commanders are just just have been so painful to watch for how long now? Ever. Like the, they won last week. Yeah, it was just painful. Brian to watch. Robinson ran well. He did run well. Daniels ran well, but there's some issues where he'll drop back and he'll drop his eyes and he'll go. He drives me nuts. 
Like the times where he scrambles and escapes pressure and runs, like it's awesome. Is Terry McLaurin gonna get the ball or like yeah. is he gonna do anything? It, or? Uh, Jane Daniels is dropping his eyes too much. He wants yeah. to run, and I, it's driving me and nuts. And the Bengals want him to played a pretty good game against the Chiefs. Well, which Bengals will show up? I think they're going to get going here. It's like me. they weren't good in prime time last year. Oh, they'll be all right. Give me the Bengals at home. Uh, I'll take the Bengals, too. They played better last week. The defense will do enough. Uh, to win the game, this game. The defense could do enough to win this what game alone. What about the run defense, though? Jamar Chase goes off this game. It's been slow. It's been quiet. Dan Quinn defense, a lot of man coverage. Jamar Chase going to eat that up for, for uh, as I say, breakfast. This will be dinner. And <laughs> supper. Some A nice supper for Jamar Chase finally. But him and T. Higgins got to get their heads out of their asses. Let's see they, T. Higgins plays. Chase is lollygagging around because he wants a new contract, and T. Higgins is not even playing because he wants a new contract. He has a, well, he's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. I, he's hurt. Maybe I, I'm not sitting here saying he's faking it. He but hurt. I think he could play. Okay. Uh, they don't need him in this game. Jamar Chase eats his supper up the, of the man coverage of the Commanders. Junior, he was hurt. He was hurt. And Devin Singletary is starting to run really well, so I think if they hand the ball to Moss a good amount of times, I think he runs well. And Chase Brown. Give me the Bengals. Yeah, give, me the, give, us, a, give us all the Bengals. We're all taking the Bengals. So we had a lot of tough ones where we couldn't really decide, where we had a split, and then we had a lot of guarantees. So that kind of gives you guys an idea which games you should watch, right? That's how it works. Yeah, um, a lot where we're really raging. Really raging and Cajun out there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> When's it going to be the bye? The bye? Is that next, next week? Ne- uh, no, two weeks. Week five? Titans. Got the first bye, don't they? They have, they have an early bye, yeah. Oh, Pete. Pete, getting ready for your power rankings. Are we doing the same thing? His yeah. Will Levis of the week. Who is your Will Levis mayonnaise what does player that of the week? mean? <laughs> I don't know. Bad, worst turn, like a bad turnover. Bad turnover. Yeah, that's what we're like going to start Like a bad doing. apple turnover. That's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> that's all it is. Well, all what it is. is an apple turnover? Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah it's, it's like, like, uh, a, like a pastry. A pastry. Like a, it's like an apple pie, kind of. Hot, hot take? Not really a hot. It's not really a take, but I've never had apple pie. Never? Apple pie. I've never missing had out. apple pie. Yeah, it's something I haven't had often, but when I do, it's it's good. It's, it's nice. I have like this mental block where like I can't combine uh, fruits and desserts. At you're all. out. You're out of your mind. Like I can't do even like chocolate. I don't know if that's really a, is is apple pie a dessert? I guess it's a dessert. Like it's but it's like pastry and then fruit and I can't do that mentally. You I just, just can't do it. Can't do it. Huh? I've made an apple pie in but foods you didn't class eat it. back in the day. Yeah. Good old foods class. Yep. Mrs. Scully. <laughs> That is who I Shout, shouts <laughs> out! <laughs> shouts out, Mrs. Scully. <laughs> she's watching. We know she's no. at home watching. She ain't watching. Uh, no, <laughs> d- absolutely not. She doesn't remember any of us. No. <laughs> oh my god! Shout out of the day. We gotta give a shout out every single week. Where somebody told us to bring back story time. I think I ran out story of story. Time. Well, I think I told the story last week. We had the tub time story. Tub time. Well, the guy wanted a picture, but tub time. It was he wanted it for tub time. Oh yeah, <laughs> he totally made that up. Or you that said that's a good it. story. Yeah. If that kid actually still has the picture, we need it tweeted. We need it tweeted now immediately. He, he needs to. Dan's in name. it. It's me, Dan, and this guy, this kid who took the photo. It was like a. Oh, it was a selfie. selfie. Yeah, he had a stick and everything. No, I'm kidding. Oh, just well, carrying around a great. stick at Soldier Field. That'd be pretty sweet. If the Bears lose this week, are you out? Are you done picking them? Never. <laughs> Never. But if the Broncos win, you're picking them the rest of the year. No. I. Oh, <laughs> you said it. You can't go back on it. All right. You bespoke. Fine. Fine. <laughs> no, I don't think you have to because that would be painful. That would be awesome. You'll give you no chance. You're already picking the Bears every week, but. That's a better option I've been this picking year the Titans every last. week. Pete has taken the Titans this is, every week. This is Welcome unreal. Welcome to the club, Pete. Yeah, this is we unreal. Took we took them. If I, Love's not I playing, think, I don't think I took the Titans. No, but if I think you just you wanted are. to be on the Packers, you just didn't want if to. If Love on the doesn't Titans. play, I think I think you're taking them. That's what I gathered from that. I I it's, I would take them. I just need to stay up to date with my app, or else uh, I might miss it. Don't miss it. When am I going to find out if Love's playing? I you're going to find out. She'll find out. I'll text you Sunday morning. I'll but, I'll tweet at you. I'll tweet at you. I'll make a big breaking news the junior injury report. Yeah. All right. I appreciate that. Yeah. Injury report of the day. We we He's should we, we should every uh, Tuesday we should tweet out an injury report for us. Yeah. 
And we should have like Dan Dan on there is just like out indefinitely. <laughs> Healthy scratch. <laughs> <laughs> Healthy scratch. <laughs> Once again, a healthy scratch. Devin White, Danny Provolone. We got to get one of them graphics of how like the teams will post their injury report, and then we'll have like the the. Monday. I'll just take the exact every week. I'll change it. I'll take the exact teams and a bit, random team every time. But just block it, block out the names and just put Dan healthy scratch and put a I don't know, I don't know. Healthy, healthy and active <laughs> and healthy and active. We'll see if he's out there next week. Um, That'd be a good idea. And then maybe Peach Jalen will hurt one week. I don't know. And then he just say uh, he's limited all week, but then he's he's go for for game limited. time. Yeah. Gosh. Gosh, Pete. Pete. Oh. Sorry. What? No, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Do your thing. I didn't have I didn't have a thing. I was gonna make fun of Pete and the Titans, but all right, what are you gonna say about the nothing, Titans? Pete? Nothing, nothing. I'll be nice. What are you gonna say? You said nice things about the Bears. I defense. did, and then you, said you and then. And then you're like, I'm in the same boat. I'm picking the Titans if Jordan loves out, but like, put me on the Packers. Like, you just want to be on the Packers. I didn't know way? the guest picker was taking the Packers. Uh, you know, go, back? go go back. Put me on the Titans. Come on, like you're you're a Bears fan. You should not be uh, on the Packers. Why would you want to be on the Packers? Sorry, give me. Come on, you know, you're right, Pete. Come on, it's uncalled whoa, for. It's uncalled whoa, for. Oh, we're going whoa, reverse. Whoa. And, the, no. and it's one of the ones beginning there. Oh, one next more. one. There, hey, there it is. Yeah. I am now Just by yourself. on the Titans. There we go. All right, and that'll do it for this one. Thanks, everyone, for being here. We're here every Tuesday night picking every single game, making some guarantees, That's making right. some squeakers. That's right. Uh, Dan joins in via text sometimes. It's a good time. If you're not enjoying it, you're not hanging out, I, then go fuck yourself. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. He is. No, he's not. Yeah. Guys, he's not. Check out all their videos, all kinds of content all week long, covering the NFL all year long. That's going to – don't forget to subscribe. Turn notifications on. You won't regret it. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.